welcome to this video um, as you can see here this is the page I have for the starstruck novel which I've done a few videos about um, my old ministry partner was a admin on this page you know I have several pages on Facebook and groups that I started um, which which Lloyd was um, part of of course for about maybe about over a year or so and uh, what what he's done is actually taking me out of this uh, group now I can't even post in it at all so even though there's still links left here you know that that you can sort of link and, and, and buy the novel and different things which uh, I wish I was making more money out of but as I said unless I find a new publisher um, then you can still download it I think for a dollar but the point is he's, he's actually taking me out of my own group out of my own Facebook page which I find uh, really strange because uh, you know he had a, or maybe still has or he had a wonderful testimony for the Lord um, you know ex um, drug dealer and being in prison and so on um, Marine a wonderful testimony for the Lord which uh, the Lord led me to so I could instruct him in, in the Word of God but uh, you know he's, he's, he's obviously chosen to go off himself and be his own man you know regardless of if he's getting married or not or that type of situation you know um, basically we're, we're given things to do by the Lord and this was part of my ministry you know that the Lord gave me and say about the Nephilim, the fallen angels, and basically I've quite quite faithfully posted on here. Um, and these are faith, well, I believe faithful Christian men and women who've been given pretty much the same revelations as I have. Um, and a lot of evidence, as you see, um, uncovered in a lot of these videos which Starstruck speaks about which was revealed to me through the Holy Spirit over you know when I got born again here we see a TR3 which you used to be able to actually um, Google that and it used to come up but they've taken that off of Google now but this is a TR3 it's made by the Americans um, you can see here petrified skulls of, of Nephilim um, you know the elongated skulls here this I believe is a Mandela effect which uh, CERN is actually causing um, as we saw about over a year ago the, the cities in the clouds in China in different places and I believe that that's a Mandela effect I believe that when they're altering things in this reality that uh, the, the new reality is brought in from perhaps a different dimension I'm not really sure how they do it but the Lord showed me when I was baptized about space and time travel which uh, obviously Lloyd doesn't agree with he doesn't agree with that these revelations are from the Holy Spirit you know that he believes that the earth is flat which is which I don't mind whatever he chooses uh, to believe about the shape of the earth I don't think it's that important I think it could be a psyop to hide the fact that there, there's actually bases in the North and South Poles but that's beside the point you know Admiral Byrd clearly visited the North Pole and reported uh, huge cities up there of, of Nephilim races which they have the UFOs anti-gravity ships you know there's human scientists um, that actually say they can actually make them that the, you know Viminyas which they're spoken of in, in, in the Hindu Vedas which uh, the so-called gods used to have but they're just fallen angels and they're just uh, their children the Nephilim who were destroyed at the flood um, but yes in the last days oh Jesus says like the days of Noah so shall, shall it be so yes this you know they're finding through the leading of demons Adolf Hitler finding Nephilim bones giants and then they're able to construct them as you see in Jurassic Park you know, they, they find a dinosaur. Encased in uh, amber, 
and they're able to extract the DNA and create again the, the, the hybrid creatures so that's that's what many people many Christians have been showing this it's not just me but, but Lloyd Brown doesn't believe this is from the Holy Spirit as you can see this is a Mandela effect you know Dolly used to have braces because that, that was a joke in the movie that when Jaws smiled you see that um, basically there we go it's a part of the movie and then they look at each other and they fall in love there you go he, he grins and gradually she she grins as well but this but the joke was that she had braces and now she doesn't have any braces you see so this is a, another Mandela effect which Lloyd Brown doesn't believe in the Mandela effect he believes it was invented by the woman who created the term Mandela effect for for the changes that we're experiencing in this reality you know so it's, it's sort of like saying you know when the Nicene Creed sat down and uh, gave us the Bible that we have today that in naming the Bible that these people are God you know that that's that's the logic that he's using of course of course not you can't just like name uh, a football team and be the, the, the club you know um, so so the woman named the Mandela effect but it, she's not the inventor of the Mandela effect because people have noticed the changes many thousands of Christians especially have noticed many changes which I've documented in quite a few videos now okay so so for you know 20 years ago all these things were very hard to speak about now there's a lot of Christians that are getting the same revelations as I did 20 years ago and I think it's wonderful that um, that we can discuss these things but clearly Lloyd you know Bishop Brown he wants to be called Bishop Bishop Br Brown clearly disagrees you know you know the king is not amused you know so yeah but um, so let, let's have a look at Lloyd this is Lloyd Brown's YouTube channel um, you can see he's got a, a video about the Bride of Christ here and I can assure you the real Bride of Christ won't be kneeling down like this with uh, beads or rosary beads or whatever they are this is not the Bride of Christ this looks very Catholic I, I know Lloyd had a Catholic background um, Lloyd this is this is not the Bride of Christ okay um, here is another video about the Galatians and the works of the law that you know this looks more um, Aztec I don't know what this is to do with the Galatians okay and so on you know so we must realize uh, I know you've given your testimony Lloyd but you know I know you're from a Jesuit background and you know the Jesuits were very famous for subverting um, Christian ministries for Protestant ministries you know we see John Adams speaking on the Jesuits here the most crafty dangerous enemies to civil and religious liberty and so even though the Masons are seen as the main sort of pagan or satanic threat for um, so-called society um, you know many men of the past have, have spoken of the Jesuits and this is one of them as you can read this at your leisure also we can look at what Abraham Lincoln said I feel more and more every day that it is not against the Americans of the South alone I am fighting it is more against the Pope of Rome um, his perfidious Jesuits and their blind and bloodthirsty slaves okay now you got to realize that you know this is even Winston Churchill you know link the Jesuit order with one of the main threats of religious liberty a lot of these men were Masons and you know part of the um, Jesuit oath is, is to kill Masons as well um, 
which I'm not a mason, okay? I'm a born-again Christian. I, I profess Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. But the, the, the Jesuits are very anti-anything, anti-anything outside of the Catholic Church, okay? You must understand that this war is not against Hitler or National Socialism, even though socialism has never worked. You know, it was chosen deliberately by the Jesuit order and Hitler was handpicked by the Jesuits. I mean, the Jesuits um, are, are really the ones that are subverting and controlling all the governments in, in, in the world, you know. Um, you can see many websites like this and, and just see how, you know, even, even the present Pope today is a Jesuit, you know. And so the mind boggles, you know. Um, I have stood against and I do stand against secret societies just as JFK did and he died but I, I don't see much of this in, in Lloyd Brown's page even though he wants to point the finger at other people I think it's about time he took out the beam in his own eye and stopped trying to judge other people um, he's, he's acting very much like like a hypocrite Pharisee to be honest with you and he needs to repent he needs to publicly repent because he was my ex-ministry partner and now all he's doing is causing problems you know uh, this is not Christian you don't take somebody's work here that I've worked on for quite a long time to get this uh, available for people and you see the opposition that I've had you know I, I've mentioned it before I have opposition and now you can see firsthand the opposition that I have I can't even get into my own you know Facebook page which I started and as far as I know um, I'm not sure if he can delete the page but you know he's I don't know what's wrong with him I don't know what his problem is you know here's the Jesuit order um, the Jesuit church in Glasgow here and uh, it's, it's a place that I Basically, you know, I, I do stand against, like, uh, false Christian, pseudo-Christian religions, but, but this to me isn't even Christian, it's just, it's just through and through pagan, you know, it's, it's just, uh, I'm sorry to say that, you know, a lot of people won't agree with me, but this is just through and through pagan, e even St. Mungo wasn't a Catholic, but what these Jesuits do is that they subvert every Protestant or Christian movement and then after time people believe that um, you know the, the Catholic order always had dominion they didn't okay it's been like a seesaw in Britain and Ireland for the past almost 2,000 years you know the way the way these things have went and uh, the Protestants through the Jesuit order are made to feel very much um, guilty you know, for standing up for the, for the true biblical faith. As we know that when the printing press came out over 400 years ago, the Catholic Church burned Christians at the stake for owning a copy of the Bible. And I very much am an advocate of the King James Bible, but I can see, and I was warned through prophecy, that um, in the last days during the, even the tribulation, that they have a, a certain weapon that can do, that can just literally change the earth and I've done videos on the Mandela effect or you can call it the quantum effect and it is real it is actually happening and I think people like Lloyd Brown are the ones in denial about it and they're the ones who need to repent because because God said I'll send a great delusion for those who love not the truth and so if you love not the truth that this is the grand delusion that God's God's going to send you and has sent you already, okay? Now, if you're really big on anti-secret um, societies, uh, Lloyd, why don't you just go yourself, create your own Christian movement, and go yourself and uh, stand in front of these places and condemn them? Why don't you go and do it yourself? I've already done done this for years, doing street preaching standing outside churches, Catholic churches, preaching the gospel and um, telling people about the love of Christ 
that it's through Jesus Christ alone that we can be saved. And yet Lloyd, um, even though he knows I was sent by God to instruct him in the Word of God, um, just wants to slander me now. Um, and this is not the Spirit of the Lord. And so let's let's just pray for Lord, Lloyd Brown, um, for his ministry, for his family. I think, obviously, you know, they do need prayer, just like my family need prayer. But yes, Lloyd's family also very much need prayer. Um, and, and they need to get baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you know, for, for the remission of their sins. That That's what they need. That's what my family needs, okay? And so just openly say that. And uh, may the Lord bless you guys. And thank you for your prayers. And thank you for watching.